Laura B. Whitmore. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. So you have such a huge story. And I'm, one of the reasons we're, we're actually talking today is because of Positive Grid, your new company that you're working with. But you've worked with um, several large, well-known companies, including Cork, Marshall, Vox, even CBS Records. Um, you have a really big history in the marketing, kind of a marketing guru, I guess you would say. Um, so tell me about what you're up to these days. I know Positive Grid is kind of your baby now. So tell me about that. Yeah, it is my baby now. <laughs> um, you know, I, I started with Positive Grid in April of 2020, right when we went into lockdown. And uh, it's been pretty a pretty wild ride um, with the company. It's been great. Um, you know, we launched the Spark Amp right, right around then. I actually was working with them before I came on board. So I've been with them for maybe like four or five years already. Awesome. But um. But yeah, I mean, it's a very innovative company, um, very forward thinking, lots of risk taking and lots of long hours. But it's uh, it's really, really exciting to work with a company that is really, you know, focusing on just shifting the paradigm of how you make music and coming out with these really smart, innovative products and great mm -hmm. value and and like incredible features of what they can do and and as a marketer like who it's a dream right like yeah exactly you want to have a good story <laughs> you want to have like a differentiation you want to have um you know just awesome things to talk about and really be able to stand behind the product so that's been really fantastic for me as a marketer of course yeah and what, um, I, what I like about um pos what's awesome about positive grid is your mission which is to help make um learning music learning guitar easier and more accessible. You have the free app, you've got um, battery powered amps and, and, and it's really neat and they sound great. You have amp simulation, there's so much there. So t tell they me sound about amazing. how- amazing, yeah. I know, yeah, and, I, and I've seen them before too. And I was like, man, that's really a great idea. Cause I know even for me, when I'm a bass player, when I go, yeah. I go on the road, it'd be nice to have something like small, I could actually just put yeah. in my suitcase. <laughs> right, like this yeah. tiny one, right? Yeah, this so that's, is that the, that's the Spark Mini, <laughs> right? The new one here, here you can see like- <laughs> How That's tiny so cool. it really is. And yeah. I have to say, like, you know, when you start working on a new product, everybody tells you it's great. And you sit there and go, oh, I hope it's really great. Um, <laughs> but then when I got this, is this one's a prototype. But when I got the actual production model, I was like, this does sound mind blowingly good. Like you can, almost can't believe it's coming out of something this tiny yeah. and uh and I'm really excited about it. It's just hitting the market finally. So, yeah. And the technology yeah. is for, for all that has really changed with the app modeling and all that. I mean, like, yeah, you used to have to used to have to have a rack of gear. And now you can replace that a lot of that, which is an app like that and an app, which is pretty amazing. I know. <laughs> you know, and it's funny, too, like I'm an acoustic guitar player mainly. But to be able to go into the app and just kind of play around with the signal chains and like turn something on, turn something off, turn up the knobs, play around. It is almost like a wormhole. You get into it and you're just like, oh, what else can I do? What else can I do? It's it's just fun, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And I, I think with your background too, you've kind of experienced like the big Marshall amp, that whole world. You know that world. And now you know the practicality of having us like a cool, great yeah. sounding little amp. It's, it's, it's really Yeah, neat. it's interesting. I worked with Vox when amp modeling like sort of first hit the market. And I remember thinking about like, how do we have this legacy brand and now integrate this completely new technology and new focus? And it was challenging, right? Because you have these, you know, these old, you know, not yeah. old, like people who have been Vox fans for and traditionalists that love, right? love that thing. Right? Yeah. And so it was, it was, you know, it's complicated to like add this new story to that legacy brand. I mean, with positive grid, like we've just gone for it from the beginning. So, you know, we're taking what what was happening you know back then with modeling to like a crazy new level uh, yeah. of fidelity of features of you know capabilities it's it's pretty cool and yeah, there's I mean, more to come because I, technology there's all this new right and, and, and so. the thing is too it's really all about just creating inspiration for writing music creating yeah. new music so that all, having that wider palette and, and yeah. an affordable thing is like such a big deal for I mean, like I, I was talking about our music pages. We have a lot of singer songwriters, a lot of, you know, young musicians that w are trying to record at home, trying to practice. So it's great to have an affordable, right? That's a big yeah. part of it. I think so too. And I think like with a new gear, like really you're trying to get out of the way, right? You're just trying to make like this platform for creativity where there are all these features, but if you don't want them to hard to access or use, or you want to, 
you wanted that palette to be there and then you get out of the way. Right, so exactly. Yeah. So yeah. part of your story, um, as well as everything else, is in 2012, <laughs> you founded the Women International Music Network, which is um, also has the She Rock Awards, which is a big thing at NAMM. So tell me that. Tell me that story. Yeah. Yeah, 2012, I launched the She Rocks Awards mainly just because I wanted an event to get women in the industry together. Like I personally had been in the industry for uh, at that point, I don't even know, years and didn't really know the other women in the mm. industry. So I thought, oh, like I started it as a breakfast at the NAM show. We'll get together. We'll have breakfast. Cheapest meal of the day, you know? <laughs> exactly. uh, so we did that. And we started off the first year um, with awards. We had Orianti there. Um, and, you know, Holly Knight was like the very first honoree that I got to say yes. And, you know, now it's our 10th anniversary this year, and it's really exciting. It's a it's a celebration of women in music. We honor women from all walks of the industry, including big name performers, but also you know behind the scenes people who have are rock stars in their in their own right. And and the goal is just to really shine a spotlight on female role models and create a focal point for conversations about diversity, um, but also just have this great and inspiring event. I say it's like the classy event at NAMM because it's like a gala with dinner and the whole, you know, yeah. people get well, dressed up. It, it's, it's, fun. It's, a, it's a great, it's great to have that kind of sisterhood because obviously yeah. in the music industry, there's always been a huge brotherhood <laughs> yeah. had to kind of, had to kind of, you know, break their way into. I know it's, it's yeah. probably a challenge. I mean, at this point, 10 years later, we've, you know, we've wanted like, I don't know, maybe like 120 women in the industry. And, and it's, it's I do see progress. I see more women you know, yeah, both as performers and behind the scenes. And that's really gratifying. I can't yeah. tell you that our work is done, but it's, uh, but it's cool and it's exciting. It's open to the public. People can come if they're going to be in Anaheim. Uh, you can go to sherocksawards.com and get tickets to be there. Um, it's a very intimate setting. So it's really cool. Like you get to be there with the celebrities. You know, Lizzie Hale is one of our hosts this year. She'll be there, you know, awesome. she's like she'll be hanging out. Um, we're, we're honoring Dionne Warwick, Meredith Brooks. It's the 25th anniversary of her song, Bitch, which right. is that like was a, a huge pers song. <laughs> the personal anthem. <laughs> yeah, for many, so, actually. Yeah, yeah right, for many, yeah. right? So, yeah. I mean, then Yvette Young, a great guitar player. Um, I'll have Carmen Vandenberg from Bones UK. Like, just so many, like, amazing women there. So, if, yeah, um, awesome. plus we'll be live streaming with Access TV. So, if you can't be there, you can watch on online. Yeah, that maybe we'll fun. maybe we'll uh, maybe we can stream it on our pages, our music pages. That yeah, would be really, I think that'd be, be really awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anybody who uh, you know, we can definitely talk about that because we we just try to like push it on a wide net so everyone can yeah. see it. Yeah. So what um, with the music business and manufacturing, what's been the biggest challenges? Obviously, we had COVID, yeah. but then and then there was this product getting products right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like the, the supply chain is still really tough. Supply and logistics, I think, is one of the most complicated things right now. And it's 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 the information is unreliable in both ways. Like you'll be like, oh, it's gonna take me so long to get here, and then all of a sudden it'll just work. And you'll be like, oh, I got here a month <laughs> before we <laughs> expected. It's so weird and unpredictable. So I think that right. is definitely a huge challenge. I know customers get really frustrated. I don't blame them. Um, but it's it's so unpredictable for us as well. You know, we're yeah. one thing and then something else happens. I think everybody, um, so, I mean, everybody yeah. I talk to is dealing with the same issues, right? Yeah. I know I speak to a lot of people in the industry because of the She Rocks Awards. And I do think it's a, it's not just our industry. I mean, I think it's like everybody everywhere who makes something is having, I mean, I can't get cat food, you know, it's <laughs> <crazy>. exactly. <laughs> it all starts so with cat food. I, I would say that's definitely a challenge. And then, you know, we are, um, you know, we're a company focused on innovation. So sometimes it takes a little longer to create that innovation in the way that you are, you feel is like locked in and the right thing. And so we know the customers mm. are like, we want this, we want that. And we're like, we know we're like working on it. We're trying to get it to you. So um, you know, sometimes that takes a minute, but it's, I, I think I, I'm really gratified to see more people playing guitar, like all over the world. And, you know, we have this really great audience of people who love positive grid products and it's, it's been really fun. 
Yeah, it's that's all. all that. Who, uh, you've worked with several different artists, I'm sure, uh, over the years with all the companies that you worked with. Who's who some of the favorite people that you've worked with? Um, I know there's a lot of big names, some maybe some lesser known <laughs> names, but I know that's a, that's yeah, a big question. I know <laughs> that's a huge question. I mean, so right now with the Women's International Music Network, we have an advisory board, and like um, the saxophone player Mindy A. Bear is on our board. Yeah, she's and great. She is yeah. awesome. Such a cool person. Um, gosh, you really put me on the spot with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's my so job. Many. I mean, you know, I, I work with, I mean, not only do we do the She Rocks Awards, but we have like regular showcases and events. Um, you'll see this year for the awards, our house band is the Command Sisters, and they're like this young Canadian duo that we've seen grow up. Like the first time they played the She Rocks Awards, they were like 16 years oh, awesome. old and yeah, now that's they're awesome. going to be our house band and they got signed to universal so i love working with them um yeah. i don't know <laughs> i know that's <laughs> great i i i, I, I kind of I has been a huge supporter she's been at the yeah, awards several great. times and she's just awesome like she'll always be really responsive and in it and mm-hmm. oriente too she's she's been involved with us many times and yeah oh, there's so many i don't i don't want to leave somebody out of there's okay. so many women who have been super supportive and men too like you know gosh there's i, I don't know my mind's a blank now <laughs> that's okay um yeah and i, I know and because the thing is like yeah, I, I i know your background we, i can't even go into all of it because it's so big but, yeah. but uh it's funny but it's it's awesome that you that you're able to make a difference it's awesome that you're able to support great musicians that are women you know it doesn't it, it's not that they're just women musicians they're just great musicians right yeah um and that you know nita and those guys are so amazing at what they do um and it's great that they support what you do it's it's a symbiotic yeah. relationship right with the artists and the and the manufacturers i think so too it's like this really win-win kind of relationship and scenario and we just we're always looking out for each other. There's been a lot of times where I'll just connect people because I think there's a cool opportunity for them. I, it has, there's nothing in it for me. I just want it to happen, you know? Right. So, and, and I think they feel the same way. Like if something something's the right thing, we connect people, we make stuff happen. It's, it's really great. And, I, you know, I don't want to say like men are excluded. Like it's like, like it's anybody. It's anytime we can help make something creative or great happen it's a good yeah thing. good working with good people yeah. it, it, it has lots of benefits for everybody i think yeah um what's what's your advice one, one topic that comes up a lot is uh artist relations and endorsements yeah. and all that kind of thing so we should yeah. actually talk I, it's something that's kind of a pet thing for me to talk about because i have a lot feel, of opinions about that <laughs> i'm sure you do and i do too because people say oh I, uh, they're endorsing me i'm like no i always say nike doesn't endorse tiger tiger endorses nike but it's actually mutual, a mutual thing. Yeah. But tell me your thoughts on that. You know, I always feel like, uh, look, when I started at Korg, I was doing the artist relations for them for like eight years. And this is pre-internet. So I was out at shows, like making stuff Shaking happen. Shaking hands and right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would be out there in the world. Nowadays, like, I really think it's about like, if you want to have a relationship with like your company or any company, like be out there doing it and, and tagging them and showing them like what value you have. I, I, I sort of feel like it used to be this kind of one way, like, hey, I need gear, like, yeah, give me free know, stuff, give me, give me some <laughs> free stuff, right? Now it's sort of like, what can we do for each other? You know, you help expose me, I share your gear, maybe we create content together. Um, but I do think like a foot through the door is like start doing things already. Like if you like go to a music store, if you don't own it, play, like take a video with right. that guitar you want to endorse and like post it and tag them like it's there's so much opportunity for you to kind of prove like what you can do for these companies and then in return like you know everybody is looking for more content for more ways to tell their story you know i really do think it's a collaboration at this yeah. point so yeah, but I, I, think I think it's just, a mistake if you like just walk in cold and don't can't prove like what you can do for them That's yeah <laughs> i mean it's the thing is you have to you have to you have to kind of bring value to the situation yeah. if you don't if you don't do anything with the social media at all and you don't ever tag anybody then the companies i always say the first thing that happens is when you talk to them they go to your social media pages yeah <laughs> They're like does he have any followers is he doing any yeah. content <laughs> i mean and, and i i do think like look i've done things where like i don't make any money from it i have a podcast myself she rocks podcast i just do it because i love to talk to women in music but it's out there in the world there's some numbers there you know if you can just do the thing that you love and get it to grow then like 
you can create something from that as you go along. Yeah. And people yeah. pick up on your passion and they pick up on, yeah. on, the, on, the, on that you really care about what you're doing. And that, that I think that's part of yeah. the thing, you know, I think authenticity is like really important to, you know, people can tell <laughs> when you're just like, Exactly. Oh, no, that, that, was the word, that, that was the word I was searching for. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean I don't have any authenticity. But no, hey, you have know. very good authenticity. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, what's yeah. your advice for young artists just in general these days? I know it's challenging. but Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's similar. Like, do the thing you love, you know? People feel that. There's this, like, when, just like saying that, there's this one young artist. Her name's Olivia Francis. She's a singer-songwriter. You can feel when you see her, like how much she loves it. And it makes you want to help her, right? right? Because you're like, oh my God, like she's so excited. She's so in it. She's so passionate. And I do think like, to me, I say that I've, I've lectured at universities and things. I just feel like just show up, be there, like meet people, offer to help them. Things come back to you. Yep. You know, like I've just gone to like open mics just to meet people in my area and then I end up getting a gig or now I'm running the open mic or whatever it is like being out in the world and talking to people I think is really important and I know it's sort of like maybe it's a lost art now because because of COVID and Zoom and the internet but uh, I think networking is one of the most important things for any career and especially like a creative career yeah and not, you know, networking and being authentic yeah. with it not just to, not just trying to yeah. do it for ulterior motives because people well, also pick I, up right. on that because yeah. i also feel like networking like there's an art to networking too because it can't be about what are they get what can i get from you right it has to be about you know just meeting somebody and then maybe thinking of exploring like how can we help each other like is there anything there is there you know you have something to offer too Right, so, exactly. you know, I just, and then, and then sort of nurturing those relationships. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. And that, 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 that's also, I mean, that comes kind of comes back to the NAM, the NAM thing and the NAM etiquette, yeah. and, you know, and, and there's certain people that people, when they see them come and they go, Oh, <laughs> <You know? laughs> so you don't, you don't want to be that guy. You want to be like, I don't ever want to be that exactly. guy. Exactly. You want to be the authentic person that people yeah. like to meet. And, that's and that very true. Yeah. You know? And I, I mean, I think that's about respecting people's time too. Cause there are some people who like, I don't know, they're like time suckers, right? You're like, Oh, this person's going to call me. I'm going to be on the phone for an hour. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Or I'll have those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, awesome. but it's, I just, I just think, you know, maybe there's some element of like being realistic about what can happen or just being willing to like explore, offer something, you know, maybe somebody needs help in some other way that you right. can do. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I'm totally down with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what what day is the actual awards uh, at NAM? What day is that? Yeah, it's June 2nd. It's actually the night before NAM opens this year. It's ah. on Thursday night. Okay. Normally we do Friday night, but then when Nam changed their their dates, we were like, "Oh, how are we going to get a venue?" Now? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's gonna it's we gonna were, be an odd it's yeah. gonna be a bit of an odd year, but, but yeah, I'm glad it's a little bit of an odd year, but it's Thursday sort of, night, June second. Awesome, yeah, that's quick. Ooh. Sort of getting back on the getting back on the pony and starting to ride again, so that's good. Um, and also, uh, so give me give me your website. So positivegrid.com is is yes, positivegrid.com for the gear. Um, we have sherocksawards.com is where you can find out information about the event and get tickets and all that. And then we also have a website for the Women's International Music Network, which is thewomen.com, T-H-E-W-I-M-N.com. Awesome, great. Yeah, and you guys yeah. do great work and, and it's actually an amazing list of honorees that you've had. And yeah. this year is no, yeah. And I actually have friends that play with Dionne Warwick so that she's, yeah. she's such, such a legend, like it's she keeps going, such she keeps working. Yeah. And I think it's hilarious, her whole like Twitter thing now. So she's up there. <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's she's very involved yeah, yeah which is awesome yeah. That's, i think it's great thank you so much for joining me i know you're you're a very busy lady and um, i really appreciate it. i love what you guys are doing with the company it's it's, it's exciting and also with the she rock awards is, is amazing so I'm, I'm so happy that we can help support that and we'll yeah, help get the word you. out thanks come come by our booth at the show I will absolutely. We'll <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a little media guy this year. Usually, I'm a yeah. musician, but I, I've graduated. <laughs> okay. Well, thank awesome. you so much. Appreciate it. Great. Thank you, Laura. Have a great day.